Today, let's talk about the difference between fermentation and distillation. First, let me apologize. To some of you, this is going to seem extraordinarily basic and very, very simple and possibly even common sense. Please don't be insulted, because there are a large percentage of people out there that actually don't know the difference, as evidenced by the number of comments that we get on our channel. I am not condemning anyone or saying anyone just should know, because you know what? If you're not into it, you're not into it, and you wouldn't know. There's no way for you to know, and that's okay. So, what's the difference? Well, first, most fermented products are your wines, beers, ciders, lower in alcohol, and most of your distilled products are higher in alcohol. That's the easiest way to describe the simplest terms, but let's, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna pour myself a little bit of this distilled beverage so that I can uh, wet my whistle as I'm talking to you guys about it. This happens to be just plain old Jim Beam, but this is whiskey. Whiskey is a distilled product, okay? But in order to get to that, we have to start with this, which this is a fermented product. This happens to be a mead. Now, obviously mead doesn't turn into whiskey. Don't, don't get that confused. But all distillations start with fermentation. Let me explain what that means. Okay, you start with either a beer, or some sort of a starch, starchy grain or something like that, or fruits or sugars or whatever, and you, or honey even, you make a mead, a wine, a cider or a beer, or just a, like a sugar wash or a, just a wash or a wort of any kind. You add yeast, that ferments. Yeast can ferment up to, it's debatable, mid twenties at the absolute maximum. Um, so, you know, those people that are saying that they're fermenting over 30%, I'm sorry. Um, I, I'd really love to talk to you because you should be in Guinness book. Um, anyway, so 20% maximum pretty much. Okay. Usually they're in the teens for percentage of alcohol. Okay. That's ABV for those of you not familiar. Proof is a difference measurement. We don't talk about proof. Proof is literally just double your ABV, which makes no sense to me at all why we still use it. Thus, we're not going to use it at all. We go with ABV, like this one right here. This happens to be our mace mead, and it is 13.5% ABV. Now, to make a distilled product, you need a fermented product, okay? Because what they actually do is they take that fermented product, and you essentially boil off all the alcohol, because alcohol boils at a lower boiling temperature than water, Although, according to chemists, there's more to it than just the simple numbers. It actually is closer to the boiling point of water, but I'm not getting into that subject of distillation today. Instead, let's just go with the idea that as it starts to evaporate, the water and the alcohol separate from each other, okay? The alcohol turns into a gas and it condenses later on to be collected somewhere else. And there you have distilled alcohol. Essentially, the water has been removed from the alcohol. That's why it's more concentrated. So this 13.5% could become 60 or 80% alcohol at the end. There's almost always a little bit of water left in it. They can't ever mix it fully. I mean, you can under lab conditions, but for most beverages, you're not going to see 100% alcohol. I, I don't think I've ever seen 100% alcohol in a, an actual commercial beverage. Like for instance, this Jim Beam is 40% alcohol, okay? So that means whatever this was fermented from was lower than 40% alcohol, probably in the 10% range. And it was probably a barley mix. Actually, it has to be corn and barley, things like that, because it has to be 51% corn in order to be a bourbon. So it's made from corn, mostly. Sorry, I'm just talking up all kinds of crazy today, but started with a corn mash, just corn and water, maybe a little bit of sugar, and then some yeast to make a fermented beverage, which I wouldn't call it a beverage at that point because it's probably not gonna taste real good. It's kind of like a corn wine. They take that wash that's like 10, 12%, and they put that into a still and then separate the water from it and they get this. Now, various aging processes and things like that are done on both sides and that's totally fine and different from the actual fermentation versus distillation process. What I wanted to talk about is what is the real difference? So most of what we do on our show is fermentation. And the little bit that isn't fermentation is usually like extraction or things like that. We don't distill. In Florida and actually all of the United States, and people are going to argue with me, it is illegal to distill. There are some states that make it legal for people to do it in their home. It's not really illegal to distill. It's illegal to distill at home without a license. You can go and get a license and then you can start up your own distillery. But at home, it's illegal to distill in Florida 
without a license to be able to do it in the home. And you can't really do it in the home anyway. So, you know, it's this whole thing it just gets kind of crazy. Some states do allow it. And in those states, you can take that wash and make your own whiskey, your own vodka, uh, your, you know, whatever distilled product you want. Now, if all of this is about as clear as mud, let me sum up really, really quick. Some sort of sugar plus yeast makes fermented product. Fermented product plus heat and a still makes distilled product. The things that muddy the waters are stuff like, you know, the liqueurs like Kahlua and stuff like that. Those are somewhat in between. They're kind of a fermented product that's been fortified or sometimes they're literally just a little bit of a neutral spirit added to a sugary syrup and that makes a liqueur. It's technically still a distilled beverage that way because it is a neutral spirit. It wasn't actually fermented. So there's your basic primer on fermentation versus distillation. And I only got to have one sip of my whiskey through this whole thing. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.